So, in this video I'm going to be assembling my 12,500 pound winch. It is new, it's just dusty. It's been in storage. A guy at the base had it and uh, sold it to me real cheap. It's brand new, never been used. Um, this goes on top. It doesn't have remote control. It has a has a uh, cabled hand control, but um, you can easily put a remote control receiver in this box. All right? I've had it open. There's plenty of room. So the two things I've done is I didn't want to mount this permanently on the front of my truck because I I need to pull from many different angles and all that. So what I did was I bought this cradle and it's two inch receiver hitch cradle. It's good to 13 or 14 thousand pounds I think it is. Uh, seems pretty well made. So I gotta put these arms on the cradle, side of the cradle. Like this. So that'll allow me to take it out of there. I also intend to get a front bumper that has a receiver hitch in it one day so I can run it off the front of the truck. Also, I bought this receiver hitch pipe for like six bucks, something like that off Amazon. And uh, I'm gonna weld this to the front of my car trailer so that I can also pull stuff onto my trailer. Just leave the trailer hooked to the back of the truck and I'll have enough cable to plug to that plug I'm gonna put back here. And then I can I can winch things on the trailer. So when you have your steel cable, your steel cable's heavier. You also have to use your roller fair lead. This is what came with the winch. I wanted to go with a synthetic line. It's easier to handle. It's way lighter. This has a 25,000 pound braking strength. Again, this is only a 2,000 or 12,500 winch, so well within working limits. I think it's got 14,000 working limits. So I think it's about 100 feet long, and it comes with an eyelet on it, and it comes with the that's what you screw to the drum. I'll show you when I get the cable off. The reason why, even though this cable's brand new, I didn't want to stick with a steel cable because if I'm picking this thing up and taking it on and off, that steel cable's just going to get heavy. And then also it gets, it gets burrs and you cut your hand on it really easy. And this stuff's supposed to be, supposed to be really good. Um, I'm going to keep the steel cable because obviously if for some reason I bust this, I can throw the steel cable back on there and at least have a winch going until I get some more of this or another roll. And it wasn't that terribly expensive. Uh, I'll provide links in the description to everything that I got. Um, so, so that's where we're at with that. I'm going to start assembling it and we'll see how it turns out. I'll, oh, so when you're using the synthetic line, you can't use the roller fairly. You get caught and stuff. So you have to get this. It's this aluminum billet with with a bevel and that that's supposed to guide your rope onto the winch as it's winching up so at first it looked like it wasn't going to bolt up because the holes didn't match but after putting the bolts in there it, it did so um i just have to tighten it down like i said put the handles on then mount the winch onto the base after, i'm going to go ahead and pull the cable off first so Okay, so got the got the steel cable off. Now this won't your synthetic line. That's not going to fit through that hole. You don't want to use a set screw anyway. The very limited instructions say pass this through the hole and then lay it out along the length of the drum and duct tape it and then wind your winch up to pinch that in so I'm gonna have to just basically put this 
along the drum and duct tape the whole length and wind it up and just make sure that I don't get that much of it unwound. Uh, the other issue I have is um, these nuts hit the hit the edge of the they hit the edge of the winch here, so they kind of push the push the bolts. See how that bolt hole is kind of off? That one's definitely off. Now these are off this way, but I think that's just because of the casing, the way the casing is, because it's only being held by the top two bars right now. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna grind, see how that's touching. I'm gonna grind the head off just a little bit. And uh, so it fits on here better. I'll put this end in, put this end in the two bolts here and then see if I can't, if that doesn't move up normally and everything's still free turn and then everything. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, then that means that um, I'm gonna have to make these holes bigger and I'll either have to drill them, I'd hate to torch them because that, that mess with the temper of the steel, if it's tempered, I don't know if it is or not. Um, so we'll see how it fits after I grind those little bolts down. So I'm guessing this winch came with particular mounting bolts that slid in there because the 3 8 would drop sideways and you couldn't get the bolt started. And there's not really any way to get your finger in there when you have the plate on. And then over here, so I, I had to grind it down thinner and with a V and take the end off so it would fit in there on all these. So, but I got them to work and that's what, that's what matters, so. So I got them all in. Um, basically, I put modified the nuts, put them in the slots, started the bolts with this plate off, so they were, everything was lined up. Took the bolts back out, put the plate on, got one side in, lined up. I had to use two washers because these are inch and a quarter bolts, and they bottom out in the bracket cast into the winch frame and Lowe's didn't carry uh, one inch bolts and tractor supply didn't carry seven sixteenths at all so I started started one side the other side was way off so I took the, the allen bolt out of these and was able to line this side up left these loose I need to tighten them back down and then put the bolts back in these and everything's all lined up tight so Next will be putting these handles on each side and then wiring it up and running my winch cable on there. So we'll see how that goes. So I've made a mistake. I got the handle on this side. I was going to wait to put the handle on this side until I had all the connections done well if you notice the yellow connection you can get the nut to come off of the stud but you can't get it out of there so it was really hard to align the whole winch on this base so it's like what am i going to do oh i could i could torch a notch out here and eh, i don't really want to do that that's aluminum right there stable thing of the or you know i didn't want to mess with the thickness of the base and everything even though that's not really a structural part for pulling and these are ring terminals however if I notch the ring terminal I can slide it over that shaft and then tighten it down and that should be fine you're still gonna have more than enough copper contact um, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna notch this and put it over that that's why it's really good to test fit things at first I didn't realize for some reason I thought this motor was gonna be all the fitting or the electrical connections throw me on top and I was wrong 
So, but the battle with doing things wrong is knowing how to get yourself out of it. So we're gonna chop that down and just slide it on there.